Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at Azure App Services, which allows you to quickly deploy and manage web apps on Azure without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. And specifically, this is known as a platform as a service. So Azure App Service is an HTTP-based service for hosting web applications, REST APIs, and mobile backends. And you can choose your programming language, and it can either be Windows or Linux environment. And it's a platform as a service. So if you've ever used Heroku, it is basically the Heroku of Azure. And so Azure App Service takes care of a lot of the underlying infrastructure for you. So it can do security patches of the OS and languages, load balancing, auto scaling, automated manager, uh, and then um, there's a lot of things that you can implement. Uh, and so for integrations such as Azure DevOps, uh, GitHub integrations, Docker Hub, pa uh, package management, easy to set up staging environments, custom domains, attaching uh, SSL certificates. So you can see that it just basically takes care of everything for you uh, if it's really hard for you or time consuming for you to do all this on your own in Azure. And the way it works is you pay based on an Azure app service plan. Honestly, I find these really confusing. Um, I really like how AWS does Elastic Beanstalk because you're just paying for the underlying services. But Azure has all these crazy uh, uh, tiers here. Uh, but you have shared tier, which is free and shared, doesn't support Linux. You have the dedicated tier. Uh, which is basic standard premium, premium version two and three, and the isolated tier. And so uh, another thing I need to note is that Azure App Services is not just for traditional VMs for monoliths. You can also run Docker, single or multi containers. Uh, and when you set up a project, you're gonna choose your domain name on the azurewebsites.net. Obviously you can override that with your custom domain name, but there you go.